Hey guys, we're here at Broadway Reno. We just started demo four weeks ago and the progress is unbelievable. Crews are in full effect, so let's show you around what's going on here at Broadway Reno. So we're wearing masks here. I don't want anybody to think that we're not COVID conscious. We just took it off for this one video. As you'll see, all the crew is wearing their mask. So right here you'll see one of the big changes is there was a really big vestibule. It was kind of like a round room right here. So that is all gone. It's actually one of the challenges because we found out the floor is a little bit of a different height over here versus where it has to be in front of the elevator that lets you into the building. So, you know, a little bit of a change there. We have to create a little bit of a slope down to it, but it's going to now be part of the design. We think it'll look really nice. No treasures were found in demo. Uh -huh. We're always hopeful for like at least one of those old newspapers, but unfortunately we didn't find anything. However, demo was very successful. They took out all of the floors. They took out all the window frames, the window trim. And now we're on to the second phase, which is the framing, the plumbing, and the electrical. So you can see some of the framing has already gone in. Um, this is where the three bedrooms are gonna be. We have the primary bedroom in the back and the two kids' bedrooms up front. And this place is gonna have nine foot doors with transoms above them. So it's gonna be a really, really cool effect. You're gonna see that wood door with a window and the wood frame go all the way to the ceiling, which is gonna be really beautiful. And talk a bit about open space. This is all gain space. This was closed off. It was, I believe, a closet behind here, but now we have this open space, which is just unbelievable. And of course, this is a focal point, so we're gonna put the kitchen right here in the center. There's gonna be a transition wall over here that we're using like a Tadlac plaster on, and it's just gonna be a really beautiful surface. Yeah, that's and gonna be great. It's just something so excited for. Yeah, and then of course there were some surprises that we found. You can see these blue pipes back here where the plumbing is. You know, that was a little bit unexpected to find, and so we had to reconfigure this area. This is a bathroom and a laundry room. Can we actually swap them? Um, and there's, there's always those surprises, and you just have to roll with them and figure out uh, what the next step is going to be. Let's head all the way in the back. Most of you guys will remember that circular shower. I was a personal big fan of it, but <laughs> we had to let it go. It's no longer there, so let's see all that gain space. And folks, this is, rest in peace, the circular <laughs> shower. This is where it was, no longer here. It's hard to believe because it was taking up so much room and taking it out, I mean, it was kind of an interesting feature, probably when it was installed 20 years that. ago. <laughs> um, but it was taking up so much room, and now this bathroom is gonna be really nice and spacious, and we're gonna have a really beautiful tub in front of the window with a, with a separate shower. It's gonna be very nice. Talk a bit about bathrooms. Check out this construction bathroom. I mean, we've been around a lot of construction sites, and we have to say props to this. It's this is great. one of the they best really did a good job. construction they bathrooms. They even still have a sink. Seen. Another big focal point in this home are the windows. I don't know if you guys remember, but it was covered with really, really big, heavy big trim. Uh, yeah, trim. So we had to get rid of all that, see what was underneath there. We didn't find any window weights, oddly, but now we have a really nice open space. We're in the process right now with landmarks. Uh, the windows were approved, but they are custom windows. So the lead time on these are a little bit longer, but it's gonna be well worth the wait and it's really gonna transition the whole entire space. Yeah. So one of the challenges in this space is dealing with these structural columns. There's a line of them that runs entirely through the building. Obviously, they're not going anywhere, but we want to minimize them as much as possible. So you can see we demoed the top and the bottom because they had a little bit of like ornate extra wood that went around them. Yeah. And so that's been demoed. So it's just going to be nice and streamlined and just one column all the way up. And these are actually terracotta columns. Yeah. Which is really, it was an interesting find in the space that we learned that the structure of this is a terracotta base. Most new buildings are steel or concrete, but this has a really, really old traditional way of building buildings, and that was from the terracotta plaster. So 
hope you guys enjoyed the update. Lots of work going on here. It's actually going really quickly, and the next update will probably be once the finishes are going Yay. in. So make sure you subscribe. <laughs> that way you're alerted when we have it ready for you. Thank you.